What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about being a fan of video games and how sometimes it can get you in positions that you don't want to be in. Uh, I'm a fan and uh, some people will call me a fanboy and if they do call me a fanboy I'm usually called a pony and uh, that means I like Sony. <laughs> it's always been funny to me to hear that. I've heard it quite a few times on the internet. I do. I, I like Sony, and uh, I like their atmosphere. I like the uh, environment that Sony has created. I just feel more at home on Sony platforms playing Sony games. And uh, I'm not the only one. There are lots and lots of people who enjoy Sony more than Microsoft and Nintendo. And uh, a lot of us like to represent what we like. Uh, you know, some people will go above and beyond. Uh, to let people know how much they like a console or they like a, a company and uh, belittle the other companies, you know, take some pot shots and, uh, you know, let it be known that mine is the best and forget the rest. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. I think it's great. I love it when I hear Xbox fans say that the Xbox is awesome because in its own way, the Xbox is awesome. Uh, the Xbox 360 was an incredible console. That's a Microsoft console. The Xbox One is very, very powerful, and it has some great games, especially now. It's got more games out uh, than ever, and uh, a lot of these games are great, like Sunset Overdrive. Still waiting to, to, to get the uh, full review of Halo Master Chief Collection. I think it's going to be awesome, but it is facing some, uh, some technical difficulties right now. Even Nintendo. Nintendo's got Bayonetta 2. Uh, Nintendo's got Smash Bros. getting ready to come out. They got a new Zelda coming out. Waiting for them to talk about a new Metroid game. Star Fox is coming. They got a lot of stuff going on. And I know there are a lot of Nintendo fans out there who've been holding it down, holding Mario's hand for years. Mario is a very important part of my past, too. But for some reason, the PlayStation, I think it, it started with PlayStation 2, just became a symbol of who I was as a gamer. I don't know how it happened. But it just did. You know, when, when I first bought my original PlayStation, that actually meant something to me. It was a big deal. And I know a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. But for some of you guys, you weren't buying PlayStations. You were buying Xboxes. You were buying Xbox 360. You are buying Wiis. And uh, for those people out there, I totally understand. I, there's no disrespect or dislike for any of that. I think we're all fans. I think we're all gamers. And I think we all deserve the respect of, uh, you know, what we like. It's like... Uh, if, if a person likes a Cadillac instead of a Lincoln, you're not going to sit and talk shit about the person who likes the Lincoln. You just have different tastes. And that's how I see it. But sometimes being a gamer can get you into compromising situations. It, when you get to the point where you're really, really going back at it, going at it back and forth with somebody uh, about a video game or an argument over a console versus a console, you got to sometimes you need to take a step back and say, hey, this really isn't worth it. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's all done in fun. Sometimes you want to, you know, troll people. Sometimes people want to troll you, and it's going to happen. Not every time will you be able to stop an argument or stop the conversation to be the bigger guy. But there are going to be some times that you're going to be able to do that, so just keep that in mind. Being a fanboy is a great thing. Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo work hard to make fanboys. They do. And of course, the media and uh, YouTube personalities will tell you, hey man, don't be a fanboy. Just if you like a game, everybody, you know, it's a rainbow here. Everybody can like everything. A lot of people don't do that shit. A lot of people can't afford every game console. You know, you gotta really be hardcore to have every game console. That's just the truth. And usually, kids don't have jobs and they depend on parents to buy them stuff at Christmas time. And they get the console that they think better suits their taste. And guess what? When they go to school, that's what they rep. It's like a new gang. It's like the Bloods and the Crips. When your blood is a PlayStation, and their their Crip is the Xbox One or the uh, or the uh, Nintendo Wii or Wii U, and that's just the way it is. And so people rep what they rep their set, and their set is their console, and that's just the way it is. So it's real easy to say, you know, don't don't get into it with people, don't argue with people about it. It's just it's just a game. But for some people, it's a, it's an extension of who they are. It's an extension of you. Especially if all you have is one console. If you grew up on one console, if Uncharted was the first game you played that really made you feel an emotional attachment, you have an attachment to that game, which gives you an attachment to that console because that's the console you had it on. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's nothing wrong with a little healthy debate. You know, if you want to tell somebody, hey, look, this system's better, here's why. They may not agree with you, they may agree with you, but that's something you've got to understand going in. You've got to understand going in the door that you're not going to be able to convince everybody to conform to your ideology. That's not going to happen. Some people are going to see things their way no matter what. We're all adults, so 
once you're an adult, you feel like I'm a grown ass man or I'm a grown ass woman, and that's how people are. So as another adult, you gotta understand that. People are not going to conform to your ideology of what a gamer is. I think we're all fanboys in our own way. I think that the fanboys who say love everything are the fanboys of all. They love it all. They're not talking bad about anything. They're fanboy of every console. They're fanboy of all the major companies. Just try to keep your head on straight, guys. Try to see your way through all the trolling. Try to see your way through the arguments. Love your games. Represent your set. Represent your console. Represent your joystick. Represent your memories and who you are as a gamer. I think it's very important to be a fan. You guys comment in the comment section below. Let me know which console you're a fan of or are you a fan of all consoles. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you're new. I'm the Beast of Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.